Hi everyone, we have prepared a great Excel tool perfect for small hotel owners to help manage booking and expenses financials all in one single Excel template. This can be used for hotel rooms, hotel apartments, holiday homes, basically any type of rental property business. It was specifically designed with small businesses in mind and the reason is simple, larger size hotels usually have their own management software. Saying that, there is no limit in the number of rooms you can manage with this Excel template. So let's see what this can do for you. So this is the Excel template you will receive with every purchase, which uh, will also include a, worked, a fully worked example for your reference. The template includes uh, five different worksheets, the setup, bookings, expenses, and two similar uh, reports, which we will cover in a moment. So the first uh, worksheet is the setup. This is where we will set up our business. First, select a currency from the dropdown. Uh, there's dollars, euro, and pounds available. Let's select dollars for this uh, example and uh, first column hotel rooms uh, we will enter all of our hotel room uh, numbers this can be if it's a hotel apartments or villas different names for villas anything you want um, the table will will auto expand as soon as you start typing in new rows so let's enter 10 rooms for this example um, this next three columns is our nightly, our daily rates for our bookings and it's split into three categories, a short stay, middle range, a stay and a long stay. This is again customizable. Uh, for this example, let's say up to two nights, we will have a different short stay rate from three nights up to five nights. Now let's make it four nights. Uh, we'll, we will have a different uh, booking rate and more than four nights uh, we will consider this as a long uh, duration stay with a different rate. For, so for each of the rooms we will enter the actual uh, booking rate $50 for the short stay, $45 for the medium range stay and uh, $40 for a long stay. Maximum capacity, this, is, uh, this column is optional, it's just for a reference uh, for you to know how many people uh, can be included with, uh, each, in each room. So we do the same for all of our rooms, let's say room 102, this is uh, $65, 60 and uh, 50 for uh, a longer duration stay. And uh, we ans once we set up all of our uh, business uh, hotel rooms uh, numbers and the corresponding rates for, uh, for each night and the capacity, we can move on and start recording, taking in bookings. First column is the actual date a booking was made, which is different from the check-in and check-out uh, dates. For instance, a booking was made on the 1st of September 2023. Uh, this booking was for room number 11. Uh, there's a drop-down selection box where all the room numbers are shown. Select room number 101 category. Again, there's a drop down. There's only two income categories, rental income, which is the actual uh, rent, the booking, and other income is for any type of income you may have. Uh, for instance, um, uh, mini bar charges, dry cleaning, and uh, anything, any type of other income. So this is a rental income. And the actual check-in was for the 12th of November, 2023 until the 14th of November 2023. As soon as I hit enter, the program will uh, count the number of days this booking was made of. In this example, it was two and it will display it here. So this is for two nights and it also picks up the corresponding rate for a two night stay for this room, 50, $50. Uh, the next column is called override rate per night. This is 
uh, if you want to manually override this rate um, for example if your guests have a discount coupon or the family members and you want to give them a different discounted rate you can just go ahead and enter the override rate here so the program will also will all, always use the override if applicable if there's an override uh, amount here it will use this rate instead of the standard rate so two nights for thirty dollars a night your total income will be sixty dollars in the month of november a quick note just make sure i strongly suggest to use the drop down for selecting uh, the room number uh, typing errors are very uh, often and common and if you instead of typing 1 1 uh, by mistake you type uh, 11 this will give you wrong uh, reporting figures in your financial reports so let's go ahead and fill in a few bookings for our example and remember uh, all the daily rates are picked up from the setup table but you can also uh, override them at any point. For instance, this was this booking was for eight nights, $100 a night, and we wanted to give them a better price, 90 euro, $90, sorry, and the total income changes. So next up is our expenses recording, our expenses table, um, simple to use. We just enter the date of each of the expenses, 1st of November 2023, room number, again, selected from the drop-down list, room 101. We had to repaint our uh, room. The description column, you can write anything you want. It's just for your own reference. Find out what this expense was for. Expense category, this is selected from the available drop-down um, expenses uh, list. Uh, we have included a lot of uh, expense categories. For instance, repaint falls into the maintenance and repairs, and it was for the amount of $150. Now, this expense, $150, is specific for this room number. If you have general expenses, monthly expenses, that are not specific for each uh, room number, for instance, if you have staff and you pay wages, uh, on a monthly basis um, we have a note here leave blank for all rooms for instance on the end of November 2023 we had to pay uh, staff wages as a category here wages a thousand euro and uh, what we need to do is leave the column for the room number blank we have to leave it empty what the program will do, it will uh, take this $1,000, divide it by the number of rooms, and assign that amount to the specific month under this category wages. For instance, in our setup, we have 10 rooms. I will assign $100 for each on each of the rooms in this specific month. So let's go ahead and fill in a couple of uh, expenses, running expenses. Both bookings and expenses entries, uh, you can continue entering them as they come along. They don't have to be in any specific sequence. Um, the program will read the specific date for each of the expense and assign it to the corresponding year and month. Finally, we have uh, two types of similar reports one report all rooms this is a report for our complete business all rooms included and the next report is per room the difference uh, this uh, report it includes a selection at the top here select room uh, where you select a specific room number and it shows the financials for this specific room for this specific period of time between the years 2023 up to 2024 for instance if i write here 2022 i know that there are no records for this specific year from 2022 up to the same year it will sh everything is set to zero because we have no bookings or expenses recorded for this uh, period of time so 2023 to 2024 this is for two years 
23 and 24 we have our report the report includes all of our income uh, broken down into months and for the two different income categories and the same with our expenses monthly expenses for each category for this room as you can see in the wages category remember we entered a thousand euro for all of the rooms in the month of november you can see here it assigned the amount of hundred dollars for this specific room whereas in the report the all-inclusive report for our complete uh, business wages in the month of november one thousand dollars at the top we have our net profit in both types of reports our total income total expenses and um, the template also includes a few graphical representations of our monthly profit for this specific of for this specific period a comparison between income and expenses per month and also uh, expense category breakdown where we can see what is our biggest expense in this um, in this example 44 percent of our uh, expenses falls into the maintenance and repairs category and the same with the per room report as you can see once we set up our uh, property our hotel room numbers and enter all of our rates we can start recording bookings and expenses is very easy to use and have a holistic overall financial report of our business so thank you for watching